The Peacemaker TV series has worked hard to redeem the Suicide Squad's most obnoxious character, but his redemption arc has become too muddied. The early episodes of the Peacemaker series showed Peacemaker wrestling with the fact that he killed Rick Flagg, haunted by his final mocking words. However, in later episodes, the Suicide Squad's death of Rick Flagg is conflated and compared with the death of Peacemaker's brother in the way that Chris Smith was blamed for Keith's death by their father, White Dragon, Robert Patrick. By establishing the fact that Peacemaker already had this traumatic point in his past that had helped to define him, Peacemaker makes the character's immediate response to killing Rick Flagg in the Suicide Squad ring hollow. Rather than having any greater reflection in the moment, Peacemaker quickly shrugs off the fact that he has killed Flagg to go and pursue murdering the rest of the team, and it is seemingly not until months later that he realizes any connection between killing Flagg and Peacemaker's pain at killing his brother. You got fuck. Peacemaker does define the death of Rick Flagg as a turning point for Chris Smith. Gunn makes it clear that Peacemaker and Vigilante's exploits would sometimes result in them killing innocent people by mistake and then not worrying about it, and Peacemaker's confrontation with White Dragon shows away from the jungles of nice. that he regrets who he was before and blames his father for the brainwashing that he was put through. However, that turning point is undercut by Peacemaker itself as it works to emphasize all the ways that Peacemaker already hated who he had become and then ultimately showing that his response to Flagg's death did not take place until well after the fact. For Rick Flagg's death in the Suicide Squad to truly work as a redemption point for the character, he would have needed to react to it immediately, rather than ignoring it at first despite Rick Flagg's mocking of Peacemaker's name, which ultimately leaves the turning point to feel more driven by his eventual failure in Bloodsport, Idris Elba, almost killing him. Is Mern dead? Who is the team's new leader? In the episode, the butterflies disguised as police arrive at the lodge, where Mern and his team are staying. While Mern predicts this move, he, Adebayo, and Harcourt are too late to move out. The police arrive at Mern's doorsteps and brutally attack him. Mern decides to sacrifice himself so that Harcourt and Adebayo can escape. Detective Song crushes the butterfly residing within Mern's body. However, before the butterfly dies, it has one last telepathic conversation with Harcourt and entrusts the mission to her. Harcourt and Adebayo are deeply moved by Mern's death, but recognize the gravity of the situation. In the end, the women reunite with Peacemaker's unit at a hospital. Although the group's morale is low and they consider abandoning the mission, they quickly realize that they must honor Mern by completing the mission. Moreover, the fate of humanity is at stake. Therefore, the team decides to carry on without Mern. They unanimously choose Harcourt as their new leader and set out to defeat the butterflies once and for all. A fucking busboy. Oh, great. Now we definitely have to kill him. What is the alien creature's purpose? During the episode's final moments, Harcourt formulates a plan to take down the butterflies. Mern had previously informed the agents that the butterfly's source of food, the amber fluid, comes from an alien creature known as the cow. The cow is being kept at a place known as the Cloverdale Ranch. Harcourt's planning is juxtaposed against scenes of the Goff alien and its followers arriving at the Cloverdale Ranch, where we see the giant cow for the first time. The alien creature is being milked for the amber fluid. Thus, Harcourt's plan is simple, kill the cow and defeat the butterflies. However, that is easier said than done since the butterflies are now aware that the agents plan to target the cow. Therefore, they are moving the cow to a different location. Don't keep them alive. 